Welcome everyone. Just remember before we get started, if you want to download the project links, it will be down below in the description. Just all you got to do is enter your email and it's completely free. Welcome back everyone to this lesson or video. In this video, we're going to go over animation. So we're going to go over animation player and animation tree. So we'll kind of visit or visit how that works. But first we need to set up quite a few things. So this video is going to be a lot of setup. There's going to be minimal coding, but we're going to set up quite a bit. Okay. The first thing we not want to look at is something called animated sprite. Now animated sprite technically it well, usually is used to animate things, right? And you'll see how that kind of works in a second. So let's add this sprite and let's head over to the animation tab on the top, right? And we can go to sprite frame and just create a new one. And now if we click this on the bottom, we'll have a new tab called sprite frames. And now we can start adding in a bunch of uh, words or a bunch of animations. So for example, I'm going to put one called idle down. Now in my, uh, in this idle thing, I'm going to click this guy or click O or control shift O. And if I go and find my character, my villager here, I can go to the idle, select this guy and it's already four by four, which is perfect for us. And if we zoom in here, this should be the idle down. Yeah, and they look very similar, but I believe this one is idle up. So we're going to select these four frames. Okay. And you can zoom in and out by holding control and just zooming in and out. Now we can add those four frames. And now if I zoom into my player here, I can actually uh, hit play. And now you can see that he gets animated. Now, as funny as this might sound is we're not, we're not actually going to be using uh, this specific uh, animated sprite to animate it. In fact, what we're going to do though, is use this to store all the sprites. So first we need to add all these sprites. So let me do that. And I want you to try to follow along. I'm just going to add all the sprites and speed this up uh, just a little bit. All right. So at this point, um, you might want to start adding the next few animations. So walk down, walk left, etc. But you see here that uh, the sprites are actually different sizes, right? So here, we're going to want to make sure on the right side, we pick horizontal to six, right? Because it's six by four. So you would do this no matter what sprite sheet you have, you would just select whatever amount of sprites you have, and it would work out perfectly. So it's going to be walk down and we'll put this in and I will continue speeding up the video. All right, at this point, hopefully you have followed along slightly and just added in all our animations. Now, the process is the exact same, right, for every single one. Um, just one note is when you select the sprites, so for example, in this one, when you click on one and I click another, there's a number on the top left, and this does indicate which sprite position it will be in. Okay, so make sure that it says zero, one, two, three, four, five in order. Okay, so if you accidentally did it like this, that would mess the animation up and it would look weird. Okay, so and if you want, of course, do test your animations and make sure they all look smooth. Now, of course, you might have noticed for the attack, there's no sword, but don't worry, we're going to actually uh, do that later. There's a separate animation for that as well. Um, but right now, we're not going to worry too much about the attack itself. Uh, that's its own little video for later. All right, now we're going to add an animation player and an animation, an animation tree. Now the animation tree, we're not going to set up just yet. We're going to look at the animation player. Now the animation player is on the bottom where we click animation. Now I can go over here and just click new. And now at this point, we're going to essentially repeat a lot of what we just did. So we're going to want to repeat uh, idle down, for example, and I'll show you how to do this. Now this is going to be a little tricky. So follow along. Uh, well, okay. So here on the bottom, we don't see the sprite frames anymore. But if I click the animated sprite, I will now see the sprite frames. However, if I click back to the animation player, you will no longer see it. So how do we get around this? If I click the animated sprite, and then click the animation tab, I can now access the animated sprite on my inspector tab. Now the advantage of this is now I can tell us which animation we're using. So I can select the animation. So I can say uh, idle down in this case. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to animation and hit the key button here. I'm gonna select uh, create. It doesn't matter if the reset is on. If it does, uh, you'll see a reset track here that says reset. Don't worry too much about it. It doesn't really matter. 
But now what we want to do is we want to key the frame. And now it doesn't matter. Uh, make sure that these are both checked off and we can hit create. And this will automatically whoops, take us to uh, the next frame, which is 0.1. And now I can make sure that frame is on one, go up by one, hit key, go up by one, hit key, and hit up and hit key. Now we can see we have all four frames here. And that should be it, right? Yeah. So now we can shorten the length of this animation to 0.35. And now if I play this from the beginning, we have an animation. Now, the only thing that we need to do though is loop it. So we can actually loop it right here. So we can hit play. And now he plays the animation, which is really nice. Okay. Now don't worry about the speed. One of the advantages to the animation tree is that we'll actually be able to edit the speed later. So don't worry if it's fast or slow, or if you don't like it, we can actually edit a lot of this in the animation tree uh, later. So right now though, this is what we're going to keep for the idle down. Now I want you to essentially do this for all of them. Now, a quick way to do this or a quicker way to do this is if I duplicate this and I say idle up, for example, and I actually go and click this key right here, you can see the value says idle down and I can switch this to idle up. And it'll actually automatically switch the, uh, the frames as well to that thing. And just to make sure that I'm not lying because the up and down does look very similar. Let's do this for the left. Do this for the left. Idle left. And now you can see it switches to the left and it works out quite nicely. Now the only ones or the ones that will uh, be a little bit of a struggle is the move and attack. So let's do attack because those ones are six frames. So let's do attack down and let's take a look at this. So if I switch this to attack down, it does work the same, but it gets cut off, right? So let's extend this back to one second and let's go to 03 or 04. Make sure we have the animated sprite or the sprite frame selected, go to animation. And here we have the third frame. This is the fourth frame because we start at, uh, zero, right? So technically we want zero, one, two, three, four. So we want to be on four right now. Key up and key. So now we have all six frames. All right. And now this will be 0 0.55. All right. So at this point, you can now uh, I'll speed up the video a little bit. And now you can also uh, duplicate these and make sure we have all the animations. All right. So real quick, if you are duplicating a six frame animation here, and you see this, well, we have two duplicate keys here um, that shouldn't actually be there, right? Because the idle uh, one, let me make sure it is idle down. You'll see these two frames. We can actually click these and delete it by just hitting the delete button. Okay, so let's continue the speed up. All right, that is it. I have now created everything we need. Now just make sure that you go through them and double check that everything is correct. Okay. So you'll want to just double check that these are all are correct. Okay. All right. Now, lastly, we want to take a look at the animation tree. Now to make this very simple, what we'll do is we'll kind of set it up for now, but we won't code anything just yet. So first we want to go to new animation node state machine. And here I can right click and add a bunch of different things. Now the cool thing, um, but we will see that we can't add an animation from our animation player. So if we actually go to the anim player right here and assign, we can actually select the animation player. And now I can see I have a bunch of selections to move from. So I can, for example, do walk down. And if I use this little guy right here, this transition and go to walk down, you can now see that it animates walk down. Now this is quite cool because well, now we can add animations, right? Now, what we'll do is we'll also take a look at something called uh, blend tree. So in blend tree, this is quite cool because here we can add an animation we can connect it. And this will essentially tell us, okay, we're going to animate well, something, right? So here we can say uh, idle down, for example. Now, another cool thing is we can add transitions. We can add time scale. Now time scale is one of the useful ones because here, I can speed something up or slow it down. So this would be a slowdown. So let's connect this. Oops. So I need to connect it from here to here and here to here. So the connection here, right, is the, the output is going to take the animation, idle down, 
time scale it by 0.7 and then output. Now, if we go back to the root, we can go over here and just do so. And we should be able to play the idle animation here. Now, we're going to add a bit more to it um, in the next video because this isn't it. There's quite a bit more that we want to add into our animation tree. Um, and then we'll also set it up in code. So uh, that is it for this uh, video. I hope you guys learned how to set up animation sprite and animation player. Uh, it was a little tricky. If, uh, if anything confuses you, do make sure that you uh, understand everything before moving on. And I do have a Discord that you can come ask for help. Um, it'll The link will be down below or on my channel, wherever you're watching this from. So uh, I will see you all in the next video where we will set up the animation tree. Right?